Hey there, future citizens. Welcome back to our channel. This video covers the 100 official USCIS civics questions. Before getting started, here is some important information. For the oral test, an immigration officer will ask you up to 10 questions from 100 civics questions. You need to answer at least six out of 10 questions correctly to pass the civics portion. The 10 questions are randomly selected by the officer, so be prepared for anything. There are no multiple choice questions. You'll need to provide a single answer unless the question specifically asks for more information. You have the freedom to choose your own answers from the list the USCIS provides but we selected the easiest answers in this video. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more invaluable citizenship resources, tips, and tricks. So are you ready to dive into the 100 USCIS civics questions? Buckle up, because we're about to get started. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27 What did the Declaration of Independence do? Said that the United States is free from Great Britain. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life Liberty What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion, or not practice a religion. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist economy what is the rule of law? No one is above the law. Name one branch or part of the government. President What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances Who is in charge of the executive branch? The President Who makes federal laws Congress What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives How many U.S. Senators are there? 100 we elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. We elect a U.S. Representative for how many years? 2.
who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because they have more people. We elect a president for how many years? Four. In what month do we vote for president? November. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Vice President. If both the President and the Vice President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Speaker of the House. Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the Military? The President. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. Who vetoes bills? The President. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. What are two Cabinet-level positions? Secretary of Education. Secretary of Energy. What does the Judicial Branch do? Explains Laws. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Give a driver's license. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What is the political party of the President now? Democratic. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Kevin McCarthy. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Be loyal to the United States. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote. Join a political party. 
When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. When must all men register for the selective service? Between 18 and 26. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Taxation without representation. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. There were 13 original states. Name 3. New York. New Jersey. Virginia. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. When was the Constitution written? 1787. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. Publius. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. diplomat. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Who was the first president? George Washington. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. Emancipation Proclamation. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for civil rights. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Vietnam War. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany and Italy. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil Rights Movement What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. What major event happened on September 11, 2001, in the United States? 
terrorists attacked the United States. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Missouri River What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean Name one U.S. territory Puerto Rico Name one state that borders Canada. Alaska Name one state that borders Mexico. California What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Where is the Statue of Liberty? Liberty Island Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star-Spangled Banner When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th Name two national U.S. holidays Thanksgiving Christmas